Well, it's nice, nice to, for somebody to come in and talk oh, to. Okay. Goodness, nice. yes. Nice. I love it. Everybody <laughs> has all these beautiful windows. You know, all this yes. Very <laughs> yes, true. There's everywhere you sit down looking around. That's what I like about here. And Mary's Zebra is different. Where I live in Mary's Zebra, it was the water. I know I could look at you one in window and see the water and the boats coming in, but it's not like here. I go down the bridge and you can hear the water like up getting the rocks, and I love it. Yeah. And the gulls flying around, and that's, I, that's the reason why I like Battle Ever so much. But you're not excited by icebergs like we are. Probably. No, you I wouldn't know. bother look through wet <laughs> That's like whales. See, when you see a whale, everybody's running. I know. But to me, a whale is a whale. Yeah, well, we don't see them in But Toronto. see, you don't see it. Yeah. But I could sit here in this window for one time, and I was four or five whales going into the harbor. So, but, you know, I'm used to it. Whales outside, out that way, was always. My husband and Cyril went up to their salmon net one time. And when they went to come down into that little gulch there, sort of take off, they couldn't get in through. They had to go back to a little place and wait till the, the whales left. Was that many whales, they couldn't get in through there. Yep. And they had to wait for the whales to leave for to get in through. So that was something, eh? Well, we, it was a big family of us. There was nine kids. Mom and Dad, there was 11 of us. We lived in a little house down the harbor. Well, it's gone now. The roof is gone off and it was all flattened out down there. And uh, that's we all lived in that little house. And uh, when I was 10 years old, my dad shot his arm. And his arm shut up. And now he never lost, he really lost his arm, but he put the load through his arm. And but two years after that came back, mom got sick at TB. And she had to go to Santorium. I know I was 13 years of age and I had to take care of my brother a year or a little over a year old. And all the rest of the kids. And we lived in a little house and I had to, we had to do that. The first year I went to school, there was too many they had a little small school and it wasn't room enough for me to go in. <laughs> I had, I had to uh, wait for another year when they moved in a big place, big hall. And then they built a new school and then I moved in the new school. But my first year I couldn't go to school because it wasn't roaming up. <laughs> but it was around 60, 70 kids, somebody left around going to school in my day. But every home had six and seven kids. And we were all, almost all the same age, you know, growing up. Did you do chores in the, when you were a little kid, though? Mm -mm. When we were old enough to do it, we had to do it. We had to help wash dishes. We had to take care of the small kids and do whatever was done around the home. When I was 13, I went out to work. The big house down on the point, I worked in that one all one summer with the Hakemans. Help wash clothes and help clean floors and harn the clothes. Whatever was done, well, we helped do it. But the woman helped, you know, she was doing it too. So that was her livelihood. <laughs> Did it seem like a hard life? No, we got used to it. That's when we started off, so that was our life. That was our livelihood, eh? You know, didn't mind. One bit in the world. Well, it was no water. That's uh, no hot water. It was only just you go and you bring your water from the wells. There was no hot, no, no, no electricity or nothing like that. No plumbing or nothing. So, you, that's what you reared up to. That's what you were used to. We admit in 1955, and he passed away uh, 2009. Well, we'll go out in the night, we'll meet up on the wharf. <laughs> we meet up on the wharf, up down there. We was going together eight years before we got married. 
So uh, I was engaged in that store over there, the shop, <laughs> in the half of bed. Once so he looked after it in the winter, he kept the fires going. Well, he had to because I counted they had a sill around the back, but they had to keep the fires going, keep them warm in that store. So that's where we go in the night time. <laughs> Stove's going. <laughs> No, we got a comfortable, I must say. You can have whatever you want. You got your hot water, and you can have your toaster oven, and your, and all of that. And so, it's comfortable. Do you get TV? Yep. TV reception is good? Yes, perfect. Oh my goodness, I'm lost at my TV. Okay. <laughs>